may ask. Well, we'll find out. I'm going to break the switch down, go through it all, um, and give you my opinions and thoughts. I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you do, like and subscribe. If you don't, sorry I did to disappoint. Uh, I don't do jump cuts, so there will be a bit of uh, camera wiggling around. Uh, I do it all in one take. I uh, hope you can uh, bear with me with that. I, um, I'm not a, a cinematographer or anyone who's got any film experience. It's pretty basic what I do. I think for me it's more about the content than the, uh, than the uh, footage itself. This is an older purge, but it is brand new. Uh, so, uh, and yeah, well, let's break it down, okay? As we all know, purge boxes, lovely clips, and whisk of the duck. There we go. There's the, there's the mod in the bag is the matching cap. Of course, it is the Purge Viper. We don't need that bag anymore. We'll put it out of the road. As we can see, Purge Viper. Mech mod, brand new. Never even had, I've never even put the RDA on it. Serial number 228. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. Full brass. Same with the cap, full brass cap. Get the COA out of the box. So we all know it's legit. Go to the end page where the COA is. Purge Viper. As you can see, it was um, it's three years old, but well, near enough. Well, it is yeah, just over three years old. Brand new. Uh, I picked this up. Well, family picked this up for me from Vape Cave here in Australia. Very very grateful to. Vape Cave for always looking after me like he does. Thank you very much, George. Let's pull it a pull it apart. And we'll put a RDA on it. And tell you what I think. Get rid of the box. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Here you can have it. Here we have it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bit of machining on this. I have inspected it. Went went over it. There is absolutely not a mark on it. Bit of button porn so purge shredding is absolutely flawless they made in the usa in florida look at that just button this button or switch assembly is just absolutely perfectly smooth it uh oh, that's right yeah 18650 adapter why you'd have a why you'd put an 18650 in a mech like this absolutely beyond me I've got a box full of them. Don't use them. As you can see down in the tube, uh, we get some light in there maybe. Nah. Nah, unfortunately not. But I can tell you it is unsleeved. There is no um, protection in there. It is a bare metal tube. So remember, folks, battery safety is an absolute must when you're doing something like this. Uh, new 30T, Samsung, always inspect your battery wrap. Just going over it there, making sure there's no nicks or tears or any damage to it. Now, just a little bit of um, marking from the 510 pin. The um, insulator is in perfect condition, so that battery's good to go. Okay, well. As you can see, it's a full hybrid connection. With a full hybrid con connection, you must have a 510 pin on your atomizer that is protruding, like this one is. Uh, can we get that to focus in there? This one is protruding. It is actually the Purge Carnage uh, RDA deck, which is designed to take, which this cap is designed for. So I'll just sit it back on my Addy stand. Thank you to Battery Rack. Over in Western Australia. There is no locking feature on the on the cap. It is an adjustable airflow. With a single single slot, as you can see straight through. 
I don't know. I'd, it looks like it's adjustable. Maybe not. If it is, I would never adjust it anyway. Not my cup of tea. Ultim. Uh, I'll get my fingers in there. Get this Ultim drip tip off. It is a um, 810 drip tip. As you can see, O-ring on the inside. Get some light in there. Come on, bird. I'm doing it's like it's your first video and it's your fourth. God, strike me pink. Bloody hopeless. Uh, all your 810 drip tips, all your custom ones will uh, fit in there. I'm just trying to see whether that... Uh, I don't... No, it's not adjustable. It's just one single airflow. Just the way it's stepped down to accommodate for the deck. So, line it up. Bang on. Get it round to the spot where it's supposed to be. So yeah, it's a non-adjustable airflow. Looks pretty sexy. Look even sexier on the on the mod. Nice and snug. Beautiful. I'll leave the cap back off actually so I can juice it up. As you can see, Cloud9 cotton. It's all I ever use with some um, Mystic coils. These are pre-fired and pre-checked before I started the video, before anyone says, oh, you didn't check them. Yeah, I didn't, because they're pre-fired. I did it just before I started filming. Your switch assembly, like I said, this is all, all brass. You can see your copper contact. It is magnets in this switch. So with, the, with your copper contact being square, don't have to hold it uh, other, for spinning purposes, and then you just wind out your buttons. Now, when you take your button apart like this, always be careful, being that it's magnets, that you don't allow them to snap together. If you allow them to snap together, you'll snap magnets. Big ass magnet in the in the bottom. That does come out, but I ain't going to try and force it out today. And so does your copper contact as you can see there all nice and clean like I said I haven't even put a build on this yet so I am looking forward to it I was going to film it going to play with it and film it and do it like I normally would but I just got too excited I thought oh well, may as well show it off I haven't seen a lot of videos out there for the Viper so now your magnets in the in the switch there is two now you have to make sure that these are facing opposingly when you put it back together like that see how it's trying to force it away if you have it around the other way they will snap together and there is a high potential for breakage as quite a few people have found out so make sure that their pole they're opposing one another which they are so we know that that face We've got to have it around that way. And we go. I've got hands like feet today. Again. All right. Here we go. Put your, your um, contact in place. And you should feel it from about this distance out. You'll feel that it pushing it away, which is what you want. I keep my finger in there till I get it close enough so uh, that... The magnets don't slap together. If they do, it's going to hit my finger and knock it off kilter. So now, the, as you can see, that threading is absolutely gorgeous, smooth as. Always maintain your threading nice and clean, and always keep your your contact clean. Little bit of a life hack with a contact: uh, just get a uh, an eraser or rubber, depending on what country you're from and off a pencil and just clean your contact cleans them up beautiful absolutely beautiful so uh, we'll um, put this fella together give it some give it some juice and we'll um, see how, how it feels all right screw your addy on again very nice and clean and just double check that 510 pin on and make sure myself double and triple check yes it is protruding yes there is 
uh, insulator in there never hurts to triple check even though I fired it pre-fired the coils on a regulated device I always double and triple check everything I'll leave the cap off till last put my battery in sorry for taking that off camera venting is in the in the switch and there is also venting in the mod uh, around there two three so four vents in the in the mod four one two yep four four vents in your switch which if lord forbid that you were to have a battery vent the gases could escape both ways on this mod i will put it um with the positive up people will probably crucify me it's, it's an individual choice it doesn't really matter which way you go but because of the way that the 510 protrudes I'll have the positive hitting against the 510 and there's a the 510 is actually smaller than your contact so the bigger contact on the battery will push up against that way so there's no room for error for it touching on your positive pin of your battery like I said some people will say no you should have it away from your face some people say you should have it close to your face I look at the mod uh, I do have some mods that don't like it if you have it in a reverse orientation so look at that nice and nicely gonna leave a little bit of a gap with this five with this addy on top the button is flush so there is no chance of it um, being pushed down while you're um, while you sit it on the table as I do with any new device it's always Frank and Atticus, boysenberry swirl. It is my all-time favourite juice. Nothing, nothing short of that for me. So I know the the profile incredibly well. I know what it's supposed to taste like. I know how it, um, what I, what to expect from it. So w whenever I'm using something new, I always do it this way always use this juice rather sorry because I know it so well now the RDA deck I've used many 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 times before it's all about the cap on this the airflow the build is my like I said my regular build and I also build it off screen so people don't go oh what do you build birdie what 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 resistance do you run I build at 0 0.0 none of your biz that's it, end of story. All you got to guys got to remember, guys and girls got to remember, build within the battery safe working limits. It's constant discharge. Firing straight away. Woo, giddy up, nice. Let that draw in a bit of um, a bit of e liquid. Give them a really good saturation because I can tell you now it's going to be a hot vape because I don't know any other way. Just feeling where it presses on the... Anywhere you press on that button, it's firing straight away. Which is really, really, really good. Nice. Let that soak in a little bit more. So we'll see what it looks like with the cap on. Yep. Yeah. What do you think, guys and girls? Purdy? I think it's very purdy. I'm enjoying it. And what I'll do too is once I spin it around, spin the camera around. I mean, is I'll um, I'll orient, I'll rotate the orientation on the battery the other way and see if it makes a difference. Some mods it does, some doesn't. It's uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. So hang on a tick, guys, while I spin the camera around. Please, I apologise for um, how messy this is, but it's the only way I know how to do it. Hang on, guys. We spin that round that way. I know I'm upside down, so if I turn it round that way and spin my rotation. You should have me ugly mug, and here I am, birdie. All right. So, purge viper, Frank and Atticus, of course. Let's have a rip. See what we think. Flavor's reasonable. Flavor's pretty good. 
what I'd expect. Definitely what I expect from flavour. Just checking that to make sure my coils all nicely lined up. I will say it's a little bit restricted. It's definitely a little bit restricted. Um, maybe, maybe like the Kong, maybe um, that sort of restriction. It's not overly restricted. I could drill it out if I wanted to, make it a little bit bigger, get a bit more airflow in there. Like I haven't got big coils in there. They're pretty, pretty standard size coils for me anyway. So I, I might take them off because they're glaring everywhere. Mm. Yeah, very, very nice. Good flavour. The airflow, I say, is a little bit restricted, but it's not too restricted. It's not um, too swooshy, I suppose you want to say. But you saw when the, in the filming that I put the battery positive up and I spin it around, see if it makes any difference. Because like I said, I have had mods where that'll make a difference. Uh, does get a little bit warm, but that could also be out of my hand. Because um, I'll use this for a couple of days, and this will be patinaed like there's no tomorrow. I can, I can patina, just about patina stainless steel. And there you go. That gap, uh, maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe, you tell me. Uh, let's give it a bit more juice. Never want a dry hit, especially on the way I build. And because of the positioning of the airflow on the RDA cap, you can um, you can drip pretty well straight down the guts without any problems. Have another rip. Six to one half dozen the other. Um, I just think, yeah. See, that's get that is getting a little bit warm. So I will check the battery. Make sure the battery's not getting hot. But it is solid brass, so you've got to expect it to get warm. No, the battery's normal. So, I, I prefer it around that way. Sorry for going off camera, but I'm going to look, see. Uh, yeah, six one half dozen. The other big drips out of the vent hole. Go me, messy bastard. So there you have it, the Purge Viper. Good performance, good, good, uh, good hand feel, good grip. You know, your hand nestles nicely in the for you, whether you fire middle, index. I've even seen some people fire pinky. I can't do that, but yeah, it's nice and the hand feels comfortable. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. Hope it helps you out some. Um, yeah. Anyway, peace and love. Don't forget to advocate. That's a must. We, you know, countries like Australia and the US, we're still struggling. Countries like the UK, where it's promoted actively. Great work to the UK government. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Be safe. Look after each other. Thank you. Bye for now.